So another thing that I'm going to be talking a lot is harmonizing. Just taking a scale. You know, just playing a scale perhaps. Maybe doing um, something a little bit more ornate. You know, something in a gypsy jazz style. You might do this. And I might go, you know, something like that. <laughs> just kind of taking two parts. And this is where the theory also really comes in handy. Just so that you know, you know, what, what you're doing. You're like, oh, I'm taking a triad or I'm taking a scale or I'm taking an arpeggio. I'm just going to show you a few more things here before I wrap up this little demo video. It's quite fun. Um, C major seven. Let's see. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. <laughs> There, I was just doing something super fun and easy. I was taking C major 7 arpeggio, E minor 7, and a G major 7, just going in thirds and just kind of creating some cool, you know, tertian harmony. Tertian meaning thirds. Uh, you could take a, a simple part. I'm, again, I'm having too much fun with this demo. Uh, you could do something as beautiful as just triads. I'm going to just use my fingers for this. Maybe something like this. <laughs> Sus. I'm going to harmonize it. You get the idea there. So there I just, I did the inversion. And then I added that when I went to the sus there, sus four, I went to the six degree. So again, this is kind of working both your fretboard knowledge, and also your music theory. You know, there's a lot of cool things we can do. Harmonic minor. D minor. I'll have us all written out. Let's see. Harmonic just for fun. It's like creating an arrangement, almost like a la Les Paul or something super fun. Uh, but that's our, actually, if I push play now, just so you can hear what, what's recorded. It's all there. Uh, now I can do the melody out. Check this out. That's just a single notes. And I'll loop that it, or play back. We can even do a harmony. show you that separately. One. And there we go. That's a whole arrangement right there. Of course you can you can have the solo longer, you can take out the the three guitar harmony part, you know, if you want to. So if you're a gypsy jazzer, of course you can work on your diminished seven arpeggios. <laughs> Let's loop that. Let's see. Loop that. You know, or something like that. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to loop Django Reinhardt's classic minor swing for the electric guitar. Let's get started. Hello, folks. Thanks for joining me on this special video lesson. This is generally my looping video workshop series here on Patreon and planning out some different options and ideas of what I want to hit in 2022. And looping kind of still seems to be a popular subject. Uh, I started a, a workshop on looping and that kind of got the ball rolling. You can see my foot here on my loop pedal right here. So okay. this it's for Django Reinhardt's minor swing. And I know many of you are gypsy jazzers, including myself, and love all styles, you know, from bossa to gypsy jazz, to swing to Beatles and pop and rock. Um, but I, I'm gonna do a special one just on performance and trying, and actually it's obviously for practice too, because there's a lot that's gonna be involved. And I'm gonna give a demonstration here. On the screen share there, you'll have, I have my phone, and I'm just gonna wiggle it, it's actually, 
uh, taped to my music stand <laughs> so I can demonstrate this live to you, putting my foot here and toggling back and forth. This. Let me check out my, my previous loop videos where I go over really some important basic stuff if you want to learn more about looping because I talk about, you know, just setup. I talk about, you know, having your uh, your volume knob set at, at a certain for rhythm, turning it up for lead. I talk about making sure your cleared, your loop is cleared so you don't end up playing a, a loop that was from before. So usually when I'm talking, my foot is pressing down. If I'm on a gig and I'm talking to a customer or something, if I'm at a restaurant, uh, my foot is on that pedal to make sure I clear that loop. So that's just something I like to do. And then over here, is where I actually enable the record. This is to stop it, and then. But this is going to be kind of interesting because I'm gonna I'm gonna do some stop and start preview video lesson for 2022, for where I'm gonna be offering these loop video workshops. That's all a part of Patreon. And I might just do it a little bit slower than the performance tempo. So the melody is this. Just I'll play it for you. Okay, that's, that's what Stefan Grappelli plays. That's what people know as the main melody. Sometimes you might not even hear that slur in there. What Django plays is this. By clicking on the loop pedal again to enable the, the playback with the new part here. So uh, that's called the overdub. And I think Two, three, four, one, two, three, repeat. And I just, I had that stored. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we would start the rhythm. At that tempo, I think that gives us enough. You see, my foot's on that pedal. See, it's holding it down to clear the loop. And actually, while I was talking, you could probably see the amber light blink so that you know the loop is clear. It allows me now to do the rhythm part. Okay, this is now after the intro melody. Now we're doing this one, two, three, four. And I hope you know this. Again, I've got a lot of lessons on minor swing on Patreon. Just check out all of my lessons. I'm just doing the stock chords at a medium. And I'm going to show you something here. Um, I'm going to overdub. Let's try this. Something really simple. I'll do it all the way through this motif. And it's going to harmonize. Let's see. I don't remember what I did. Scale, harmonic minor. Uh, next part, how about this? Why not? Three parts. I'll stop it after this. Harmonic minor. D minor. I'll have this all written out. Let's see. And then the melody out, or you could do you could solo there. But that's an idea again, you know, just creating a harmony part, just for fun. It's like creating an arrangement, almost like a la Les Paul or something, super fun. Uh, but that's our actually. If I push play now, just so you could hear what what's recorded, it's all there. But here I want to clear it. So now I can do, now it's gone. Now I can do the melody out. Check this out. That's just a single note. And I'll loop 
with that or play back. We can even do the harmony. I'll show you that separately. One. And there we go. That's a whole arrangement right there. Of course, you can you can have the solo longer. You can take out the the three guitar harmony part, you know, if you want to. But again, there's a lot that was going on there. And so that's what I want to share with you in this upcoming video lesson, looping minor swing for one electric guitar. You know, it's going to be super fun. So I hope you hope you check out that series when it starts up. And also I'm going to be showing you lots of other looping tricks. And so another thing that I'm going to be talking a lot is harmonizing, just taking a scale. <laughs> You know, just playing a scale perhaps, maybe doing um, something a little bit more ornate, you know, something in a gypsy jazz style. You might do this. And I might go. You know, something like that. <laughs> just kind of taking two parts. And this is where the theory also really comes in handy, just to let you know, you know, what, what you're doing. You're like, oh, I'm taking a triad, or I'm taking a scale, or I'm taking an arpeggio. I'm just gonna show you a few more things here before I wrap up this little demo video. It's quite fun. Um, C major seven, let's see, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. There, I was just doing something super fun and easy. I was taking C major seven arpeggio, E minor seven, and a G major seven, just going in thirds and just kind of creating some cool, you know, tertian harmony. Tertian meaning thirds. Uh, you could take a, a simple part. I'm, again, I'm having too much fun with this demo. Uh, you could do something as beautiful as just triads. I'm gonna just use my fingers for this. Maybe something like this. <laughs> Sus. I'm going to harmonize it. I get the idea there. So there I just, I did the inversion. And then I added that when I went to the sus there, sus four, I went to the six degree. So again, this is kind of working both your fretboard knowledge and also your music theory. You know, there's a lot of cool things we can do. So if you're a gypsy jazzer, of course, you can work on your diminished seven arpeggios. You know, let's loop that. Let's see. Loop that. You know, or something like that. That's pretty scale. Funny. Join me in 2022 to do some looping on Patreon. We're going to do simple quick licks, loop, some riffs, some triads. We're going to do some full-blown arrangements, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Thanks. We'll see you all soon.